Hey guys, this is Joseph Bracco with Tech Savages. Just going over a software review for the BlackBerry Playbook. Um, I've actually been using it for the past couple hours and just seeing what they have to offer. And it's actually a really nice tablet. Um, as far as stock apps, um, it does come with the browser. Picture is pretty much the basic. It has Kobo Books for uh, basically like an e-reader for BlackBerry. Let me open that. So they have their own library, they have a, uh, you can sign in if you already have an account and look at your library, it's pretty much like the, the iBook store for iPad. Um, there's a calculator, Bing Maps, uh, the weather, comes with a Need for Speed, uh, Tetris, um, Word to Go, Sheet to Go, Slide to Go, kind of like the PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. Um, the Gmail client isn't actually a Gmail. It actually just brings you right to the browser to sign in, which I'm kind of disappointed with. Um, has Hotmail, AOL. Uh, the Facebook is an actual app uh, dedicated for BlackBerry. Um, and Twitter is the same thing. It's kind of like the Gmail. It just brings you to the website. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the browser. Give you guys a little hands on there. Alright, so... It's so the basic thumbnails that come up. It's already saved as like the main websites and bookmarks. All right, so let's go to the actual keypad's really responsive. Um, I'm really surprised compared to other tablets I've messed with, um, but it's probably the most accurate keyboard I've dealt with. Um, try a different site for some reason it hasn't been let's go on and gadget my internet's kind of slow all right so it does take a little while to load up but it's nice because it does have flash content on the website um, I'm really, really happy with the way that BlackBerry has done their browser. It's really fluid. Um, the pinch to zoom is really nice as well. It's a great overall experience if you're looking for a tablet to browse the web. Um, let it load real quick. Uh, but I do enjoy the actual size of the BlackBerry tablet. Um, being that it's so thin, it's like it's the size of like pretty much a picture frame. Um, but it's really nice if you're looking for a portable tablet. You know, if you're something that you're always on the go, and you don't want the size of like an iPad or a, a Zoom, the weight of this is just amazing, um, and really easy to carry around if you have like a like a sports jacket that has pockets inside. All right, so let's scroll. You don't really see much of the, once it's loaded, it doesn't have any of that, that loading, those loading squares, those little small ones. Pinch of zoom is really accurate as well. Uh, so I'll definitely give this a 5 out of 5 on browser. Alright, um, another thing I've actually noticed, which is really, really nice about this tablet, is the speakers. For the size of the unit, I'll definitely say that these have the best speakers of any tablet I've touched. Um... Turn it up. It's kind of hard to justify the speaker quality on the camera, but man, these are really nice speakers for a tablet if you're really into music. Um, Alright, so let's look at... Another thing I've noticed is the video quality also. Um, it comes with a basic demo, but man, the quality on this thing is really, really nice.
the video it actually comes on the unit but man the quality is really nice especially for that screen display um, the only games it comes with like I said is gonna be Need for Speed and Tetris and both of them are really really good games let's open up Need for Speed so you guys can see that alright so I actually got loaded It's actually a really fun game. Alright, I gotta stop for and just keep on playing. It's gonna be like 10 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see what else I have. The camera's actually not too bad either. I've compared them against the iPod and the iPad and the Blackberry and the Blackberry actually wins in this game as uh, this game as well. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a video for the two to differentiate the two. Um, but yeah, the camera actually is really, really nice as well. Do this, I'll take a picture. Alright, so I actually shot the video. So let's go back to. There's no uh, lagging or anything like that, um, which is really nice. There's not like any like shaking or the adjustment of lighting too, or is really really quick compared to other tablets I've used as well. Um, and let's go to I also did the picture. Which obviously inside the house is going to give you that kind of. Looks kind of grainy, um, but still not bad for a tablet. This isn't going to be a something that you're going to use for journalism or you know something that's going to be your main camera. It's more of a hey, you know, I saw something that I want to take a picture of real quick, and luckily I have my tablet with me or your phone. <laughs> um, other than that, um, the actual fluid motion is really nice. Um, all these. The sides of the the tablet are all interactive. Um, the slide down from the top actually gives you the the bat the Bluetooth, BlackBerry Bridge, the internet tethering, pretty much all the menu options. Um, see, the only thing that I don't really like that stuck out to me is the fact that it don't ha it doesn't have an actual dedicated email client. Um, it's called like it's pretty much all individual kind of like how I showed you was like the Gmail the Hotmail AOL Yahoo they should just come with the like one main inbox I guess you can say kind of like the Blackberries um, I guess that's the thing the best thing is the fact that if you have a Blackberry you can do the Blackberry bridge which allows you to have all your inboxes um, allows you to connect to BBM your address book your calendar which is really nice but I'd kind of like that for the tablet as well um, I can understand BlackBerry kind of holding away from having like a dedicated email or even BBM because one, the BBM needs that PIN number and it's kind of hard to associate this with a PIN number if it doesn't have a phone number as well. Um, and then like the email thing might be nice too, just for the security for, um, especially corporations. Um, but I hear they're going to be coming out with something where it will allow you to do that without having your BlackBerry tethered to it. Um, but they definitely will have to because that's something that is holding a lot of consumers away just because they have to sign on the internet, which isn't a big deal to me because I don't check my email as much. But to many people that like to have their email on the go and don't have a BlackBerry, it kind of will make that decision for them as far as whether or not they want to get this or another tablet. Um, what else? Oh, the App World also is pretty nice. Um, that's one thing that's holding them back as well is their obviously their app store doesn't have quite as many apps as the other competitors but they do have quality apps as well. Um, the Facebook app is really nice. They just updated it. I'll go over that in a second. Um, and they have plenty of games. You know, they're gonna have the ones that you need. You know, all every day, like whether it's like a banking app or 
But as far as the more in-depth and more games and things like that, they are working on it. But um, that's something that I do definitely think that is holding them back as far as being a high-end competitor. Um, wow, they have Doom. I didn't even know they had Doom. All right, so let's go to Facebook. Here's a Facebook uh, app. Um, just had to sign in. It actually is pretty decent. Um, there's a little bit of a lag, um, but um, does give you a chat uh, the chat option, friend requests, um, all your notifications. Um, let's go to options. All right, actually, I'm going there. If you hit over here. They give you that option to do your news feed, profile, friends, messages, photos, chat, places. But yeah, they just updated their app recently, um, and it is awesome. Um, I will give them that. Um, and the chat comes up with all the people's screen name, uh, whoever is online. Um, and you can actually type in that. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's open Twitter. The only thing, like I said, with the Twitter, they don't have really a dedicated client yet. Um, it goes directly to the site. Um, so hopefully that'll change in the future. Um, other than that, the BlackBerry tablet is awesome. Um, I'm really, I'm not necessarily surprised, but I'm glad they did the changes that they need, they needed to to compete with uh, with other uh, smartphones now. Um, and hopefully with their new phones coming out, like the BlackBerry uh, Bold Touch and a couple of other ones that have been um, talked about. With, um, hopefully that will make enough change also so that it will keep on living out its name. I've always been a BlackBerry fan and I'm glad to see that they're, they're doing what they can to stay in the game. Um, changing it up a bit and still having their sense of... Um, individualism and just still being different and not like the other competitors um but yeah that was my review on the tablet um hopefully you guys liked it if you guys have any questions about